today I want to show you a, a, a way that hopefully will help you be able to transfer your image from laying flat, uh, putting the image you want to sublimate onto it, and then transferring it to your heat press. I can't, since my heat press is a clamshell, I can't really um, manipulate well on the on the heat press. I don't have the slide out or the, the turnaround. Actually, I do, do have a smaller heat press that turns around. Maybe I'll try that, but <sighs> this image messed up. I'm not sure if it's because they were stacked up, but um, the one I did after it didn't mess up. So trying to eyeball this, lay it flat, center it. So... I had already measured it, but this is about three inches down. Yep, still three inches down. And so now we're just trying to censor this. Um, I had it down and it seemed like it was a little off. So this is four and a half, and this is about four and a half. So this is much better. And I'm just going to try to get the words um, to look straight. I already have some, I actually have ASA paper in here, some cheaper paper I bought on Amazon. And it jammed in my printer every single time I tried to use it. So I just did like a, um, a return and they refund, they're, they're supposed to refund me my $10. <laughs> That's what I get for being cheap. So I have that inside so I can um, use that. And then I'm going to just fold the shirt so you don't have all that flopping and manipulation when you get back. So now it's a more sturdy, um, more sturdy for you. And I'm just gonna then unfold it obviously. And I'm just going to put, I pretty much use anything. I use the cardboard that comes inside of the uh, Cricut t-shirts. And I also use, this is like contractor grade um, paper that you would roll on the floors if you're painting or something like that. My brother's a contractor, so I had a whole roll of it here. So I haven't bought any, um, I haven't bought any of the uh, butcher paper yet, but pretty sure you can put anything in here. Some people might not even put anything inside but for the white shirts I don't want the ink to uh get everywhere so like if I have scraps of um a sub paper I also just use that I just use anything because pretty much it's all garbage and then I just put it down for my 60 seconds so we'll pause this and see what the reveal looks like see if there's any shifting and uh ink bleed that's time so we just take our all our scraps and it's good to it's really hot. It's good that we had that laying down because you can see it took ink. You can see that the pieces took ink, even if it was just a little bit. Let's see. So there isn't any uh, shift in like the first, the first image. The inside images, they take a little bit in too. That's why we put the paper on the inside as well. So that the back is clean and not, um, doesn't have ink. Because you want to sell these shirts. Alright, so that was just my example. Talk to you guys soon.